a whatever time, morning, afternoon, evening, doesn't matter. Uh, I just, I, I want to just report that, um, the, you know, it's Friday and uh, Bill Bill Young passed away early this morning. I got text at um, 3.30 this morning, which unbelievably I was awake, uh, from his wife, Bridget. And, you know, he, he passed peacefully. And the good thing, and, and he had been talking, he'd gotten up, he conversed with the doctors, and this was, and looked like really he was turning the corner. But, you know, between the bone cancer, leukemia, the appendix problem, how much can a body take? And, um, and so he passed away peacefully in his family and um, was there and Bridget was there. So that's a good thing. And, you know, my father, my, my, my father would always say, death is not about mourning. Death is about celebration. We should celebrate that person that has passed for what he did, for how he touched your life, the importance of that person was. And you may not even know him, but maybe someone else. And, it can, you, know, you know, for instance, in records, you can kind of go, well, I bought this because Bill Young talked about it or someone else said Bill Young talked about it. There's just a lot to celebrate. And, and for me, he was a special friend. I got into the vinyl community because of Bill when he posted on Michigan Record Club on Facebook his first video. And I looked at that and go, I, I want to do this. And it began our friendship together, which has been, you know, just I've had, you know, great opportunities to go to his place, sit down, and we listen to music. And I tell you, this guy's record collected to the end. Just <laughs> talking Sunday, I'm with him. I'm down at Radio Wasteland with Jim. <laughs> he has a, you know, uh, he had received it. You know, Bill, when Bill was in the hospital before they had to, before he really had to be, you know, um, put onto a, you know, ventilator and everything, <laughs> He, he was requesting, can you get that farm album? I miss the farm album. Are you able to find the farm album? I mean, yeah, this guy's on death's bed, and he wants to know, can you get the farm album for me? That, my friends, is a record collector extraordinaire. <laughs> God, you know, Jesus. <laughs> wow. So um, I want to show five albums to celebrate him. It's not a thread. I mean, it, if you want to do something, that that's that's fine. But for me, I need to because um, good friend. Yep. So five albums. Um, celebrate Bill Young. Bill likes psych, but he likes something better than psych. Michigan music. He knows more about Michigan music than anybody here. He has so many Michigan rock. We're not talking Kid Rock. We're not talking Eminem. Michigan rock, baby. And he has so many originals of this. And this is an album I have because of Bill Young, MacArthur too. And this is an original. I wouldn't know what it would be. I would look at that cover. Yeah, so what? MacArthur, you know, wee. Um... But this is, you know, from a town really close by here, Bay City, uh, this group, and it's an ultra-rare album. This is two. One's even more rare. Guess who has an original? Bill Young. Yes. He has so many of these rare Michigan albums, originals, because he collected them. It, it was his passion. Over anything else, Michigan. Michigan Record Club. He was into the Michigan music. And and so um, this came up, um, I believe, at my local store at Radio Wasteland, Jim Hadwood. And Bill, you got to get that. You got to have that. You, gotta, you need to have this. So um, Bill Bill spent a lot of my money for me. You know, God bless you, Bill, for doing that. So here we go, MacArthur. Another one, a Michigan band or a Michigan artist. Michael Christensen, he just put this out. He sent this to me, and he sent a copy to Bill. And Bill, you know, was now getting pretty sick, and he wasn't able to do a video on this album. And there is just, you know, there's it's it's, it's instrumental, but there's definitely psych 
elements within this and bill really enjoyed it we were talked about it and on the phone he says that, that was a really good album totally enjoyed this and again it's from a local you know uh, michael christensen from here in michigan michigan rock baby uh something that was great that he liked one of the bill bill and i exchanged vclt a lot um and Bill was very generous with me after the flood. Uh, he really, really helped out uh, when he was selling his collection. You know, I bought a lot of albums. He added more to it. Uh, one of the ones he gave me was this SRC. And this is one of his all-time favorite albums. He absolutely loved this. Michigan band. Definitely Tales feelings of psych in here rock it's all part of src and um huge band for him he could never this was one of his all-time favorite albums just loved loved it to death so um he shared one with me basically oh steve hello you're never going to buy it here you go uh, <laughs> i really really liked it you know sometimes you just got to do that you i really like this album you're not buying the damn thing here you go Enjoy it. <laughs> so I, yeah, you know, hey, thanks, Bill. Um, and it was really good. It was pretty cool. Hell, he, he turned me on to a lot of stuff. I mean, our our record, our collections, I mean, we're talking opposite extremes. But our actually, we grew up, you know, when you looked at how we grew up, it's opposite extremes. We are two different individuals, but a love of music brings us together. Will was a, Bill was a wild man. That guy lived life uh, when he was in the Navy and everything. He's like, oh my God, really? You did all this? Well, I'm just this quiet guy, you know? It just there's, It's almost like two opposites coming together, but we find common ground in music, even if our collections are so apart because we could sit and talk and we loved music. So SRC, this is one that Bill sent me. I favorite band I know a favorite band of Bill's Rush and uh, I, I never got Rush I, I still I you know what <laughs> we, he would play it he loved Rush um, Jim at uh, Ra Ra Radio Wasteland again a very good friend of Bill's uh, because he was always hunting down all that psych for Bill loves Rush and Bill did too now it's not Michigan Canada we're close we're neighbors right uh, but huge, huge Rush fan. He could tell you anything and everything you wanted to know about Rush. I mean, Bill had these books on psych music. In fact, I bought one. That thing was expensive, but I bought it from, got washed away in the flood. But he just had this memory, and he knew all these facts and that, and he could sit and talk to you for hours about these bands, just in encyclopedic knowledge of the stuff. And um, Rush... By God, he liked it. And I says, Bill, I, Getty Lee, what, what, what the hell? Why, why can't he sing just an octave lower or something there? Uh, I don't get it. But <laughs> So we didn't agree on Rush. I don't mind Rush. I like some Rush, but I just can't do a lot of it. Then <laughs> the fifth album, which is Lazy Bones. <laughs> okay, so what? Bill Young, which Lazy Bones, Samrock? I sent him this. Sent it. I brought it over to him. This is here. He need this. Sam Rock. Guess who became a Sam Rock fan? Yes, Bill did. And he went and bought some more. Which? And he would have bought some more. We began talking a lot about Sam Rock and about the hard rock aspects of it. And uh, he was really enjoying the music and what he was hearing and it's just you know my, my my collection of this african music has really grown lately and regretfully i'm unable to share that with him in person but he's looking down he'll be listening to my turntables <laughs> yeah he'll hear more sam rock <laughs> okay it's a celebration. I'm trying not to get choked up here because it is. I just, I wanted to do this. I wanted to celebrate. Great friend. Taught me a lot. And I had the pleasure, the pleasure of hanging out with him.
the pleasure of doing things with him, um, going to record stores with him. What a pleasure. And we all have that. And that's that's the thing. And Bill's the first person who would come up and say, I love you, man. I love you, man. You know, that's 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 not my personality. That's his. And he has such he had the biggest heart in the whole wide world. Just incredible. And Bridget, his wife, is just she's 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 a saint. I, I love Bridget. And uh she's just wonderful. Um so yeah, I want to update, you know, just celebrate. Celebrate a great person. Celebrate a record, a fellow record collector. And that's the thing. He was a record collector until the very end. That's what was on his mind. That was his passion. That's what drove him. That's what drives us that was watching this. They're still watching this right now. We are driven by music because it puts us in a better place. Music put him in a better place. And to the very end, he listened to music. And that's beautiful. I mean, just, I couldn't think of a better way. Man, I'm going out, play me music. Let me hear it. He began to sing to it. That's a wonderful thing. So, Bill Young. I'm going to miss you. But I'm going to celebrate you. And think about you. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you um, watching this.